Hello, all you beautiful people out there. I am Mrs. Realistic. Welcome once again back to the channel. I have another donation request from Zdenek Zvoboda for more royal blood, and this is Pull Me Through, also from their fourth album, Back to Water, from 2023. If you like what I do, please don't forget to like and subscribe, drop a comment down below, click the bell for notifications so that you will always know when another video comes out. And if you would also like to do a donation request, there is a link in my description down below. Without further ado, let's get into it. Just record it. Don't step in to help. This is society today. Wow. There he is. Take your number and wait. Okay, so I have numerous thoughts about this one. This guy, he is waiting to go to work in the morning. He's got the corporate job that he hates. Then his wife comes out. She's screaming at him, nagging at him. And he is feeling like he is drowning as it shows the car filling with water. And he's like this pressure that's on him all day, every day. Zero support from his wife. I don't know if they put like some dentures in there or they got a woman. Let me see if I can find that image. But it was really kind of almost terrifying. <laughs> Let me see if I can get to that. Or they just asked for a woman with really bad teeth. That's scary. Okay, now then it shows the kids walking by. Maybe they're his kids. Maybe they're just, you know, the 
the looky loos who later come up with their cell phones and document the whole thing, laughing at him. And we see this time and time again in really serious situations where somebody is needing help and people just stand there with their cell phones recording it rather than jumping in to help. I forget what it was that I was watching the other day, but it was something live that was happening. Not one guy jumped in to help this woman. She was being attacked or something was happening and there was a whole bunch of people just standing there with their phones recording it, including the men who the men are supposed to be the protectors who jump in to save women who are being abused, who are being beaten. Nobody stepped in. This seems to be the norm now for some reason. Then I noticed a few other people who ended up being with him at the end. But then in this scene, here's this guy who's also dripping with water. So it goes back and forth, I think, from the people who are in the same miserable situation. They all kind of look like they're dressed for the corporate world, but clearly this metaphor of him drowning in his car before going to work, living a life that he probably hates, having no support from his family, and then having society constantly leering at you, judging everything that you do. And this is the breaking point. So it was interesting to see that scene where the woman came and opened the door and it almost looked like he didn't want her to. He's like, no, I don't want to be saved from this. I don't want to go back to this. Just let me drown. It was like he was finding peace in that of just letting go. This cyclical treadmill that we are all on and that maybe if we're lucky by the time we're 65, we can relax and enjoy our lives. But as we see now with the economy all over the world, honestly, that possibility seems to be less and less. So I think this video can probably hit home for a lot of people. You know, we're, we're constantly concerned about being able to make that next rent payment, that next mortgage payment, that next car payment, afford your groceries, afford your utilities. And most people are, you know, one or two paychecks away from being homeless. So it's a scary world that we live in. So this is kind of the vibe that I got from this video is that he's going through the motions, but it's all just too much for him. I always love having these experiences through watching videos and, and the ones that really make you think more people need to be doing that, honestly, in this world. So thank you once again, Zdenek, for your request. Thank you for supporting the channel. It's much appreciated. I hope all of you out there are having a wonderful day. And as I always say, we'll see you in the next one. Peace.